everyone in our Jeez. Waukesha Strong community can heal, remember, grow, and never have to look back. How awful. Just, yeah, if you just oh. use the I'm Tyler Pudliner, uh, victim O. Your Honor, I appreciate the opportunity to speak today and share my impact statement with the court. It has been a long time coming, but I cannot thank the courts enough for giving not only myself, but all of us who have been affected the opportunity to share our stories. First, I would like to start off with you, Judge Doro. Thank you, Your Honor. We have all been going through these proceedings for almost a year now, and it is almost hard to believe that this is the first time that we've gotten the opportunity to communicate with you directly. I understand that now the that this that is how hit. the process takes place. Now, since the beginning of these proceedings, I've obviously gone through a lot of emotions as having been a victim and survivor in this case. I hate to say it like this, but it seems that, that for a greater portion of the year, and especially throughout the most recent proceedings, and my mother can confirm this, I've been somewhat angry towards you, Judge Doro. And I would now like to apologize for that. Maybe it's because I either did not understand or did not want to become aware of how lengthy the process was. There have been multiple occasions where I have gotten very mad or annoyed due to your rulings that either didn't go the prosecution's way or that I personally felt shouldn't have been made. Oh. Obviously, there are also multiple occasions where these disruptions that would continuously be, continuously be made by the defendant would take up way too much time and cause way too many delays throughout the trial portion of these proceedings. It would stress all of us out more than we should have ever been, to say the least. I like his cross necklace, too. I would keep asking my mother, other families involved, the prosecution, and wit victim witness teams, why can't Judge Duro do more to stop the disruptions? Why did she let that one testimony go on for way longer than it should have? But in all thanks to those amazing people sitting behind me, I was able to get the clarification and understanding that I need exactly. to calm down and help me understand that we were making steps forward in the process. And I wanted, and that we were going to finally arrive at the finish line as winners. That's why I wanted to start off by thanking you first today, Judge Doro. Yep. She, I'm very glad that we have finally arrived at this point kid. in the process where I can say that you did an amazing job throughout the entire process. You have not only shown myself or just the court, but an entire nation and world, um, for, the, for that matter, that you conducted these proceedings with the utmost respect and decorum to all of the parties involved. Lastly, Your Honor, I want to acknowledge your sainthood. Your devotion to this trial can never be matched. Your fair rulings, passion for this case, and kindness to everyone is more than everyone could have asked for. Exactly. And for that, I again thank you. You have truly become like a mother and a true hero to this community. Aww. And that, and for that, we appreciate you, Judge Doro. I would also like to thank this amazing prosecution team, Sue, Leslie, Zach, Tom, Christy, and Ryan. You guys have been the glue that has held us together throughout this entire process over the past year. You've all taken extra time out of your day to stay late and either be able to answer all of our questions or just talk and reassure us that even though with all those sleepless nights and countless hours of delay, we would be okay. I can confidently say that I don't think there could have been a better team put together to represent us as the plaintiffs in this matter. Just like Judge Doro, all of you have shown the passion, blood, sweat, and tears, and extraordinary effort that has been poured into this case to give us the justice that many have desired and deserve. Consider yourselves true heroes to this community as well. I would also like to highlight Jen and her extraordinary team at Victim Witness Assistance. Again, a group of truly amazing people that I can't say enough words about to describe their amazing work. If we needed a shoulder to cry on, they were there. If we needed to make that late night phone call to get the answers we desired, they answered. We can truly not thank you guys enough for all your hard work and unmeasurable amount of effort that you gave us during this case to our families. And you cannot forget about personally my favorite employee in the entire courthouse, Pepper. You know how they say a dog is a man's best friend. Well, Pepper is an entire community's best friend. I personally, and I'm sure that I could speak for all of us when I say this, could not be more thankful for all the donations that have been made or have made Pepper possible. Jen and her staff mm -hmm. have done an amazing job keeping her in line while she did what any dog does best. It gives us so much unconditional love that for a split second, you feel like all the problems are gone. Once again, I cannot thank everyone who represented us as the state of Wisconsin. You guys did one hell of a job throughout this process and have truly become a special part of this group. Um, 
Finally, I want to take the time to describe how the events that occurred on November 21st, 2021 have affected my family and myself. No one thinks um, that something like those horrendous acts committed by the defendant on 11 2021 will ever happen. Look to at you. this scumbag Mr. rolling his eyes again. I want you to look at that, Mr. Brooks. <laughs> yeah. That's what you did to me that night. That's us in the ER. Oh, Wait. my God. I remember bits and pieces, but that is what happened. If you can go on to the next slide. Please. Dear Jesus. Throughout the past year, I have become very close to other families involved in this matter. Aww. All the pictures there have what kept me going. The sport of baseball and all the other families affected in that community. I've gained more little brothers than I can say and an entire new baseball team to live out the, the rest of this life with. Next slide, please. I've also met so many new friends post 11, 2021. Wow. A new grandmother to add to such a wonderful family. A new, another new brother in that instance that have just helped me get through everything. And it's kept us stronger through the whole process. Next slide, please, Christy. I love this I've guy. I've also gotten to become closer to other groups that were affected. He is Last awesome. Last Saturday, I marched with the Milwaukee Dancing Grannies in their Christmas parade. But, uh, Veterans Day parade. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Sorry. Um, coming together with other groups like this is something that has again shown that we are very strong we are stronger than the defendant damn and we are right an entire community that has shown that strength these memories he's rolling his eyes again going and will forever keep us going in this process <sighs> next slide please christy as i stated before um baseball is a sport that has specifically kept me going wrestling yes. is another love i've gotten to meet some very cool he's wrestlers amazing. Uh, braun Strowman, to name a few or and rick flair um, a race car driver, a local race car driver that I pit for at Slinger Speedway has basically been another grandfather throughout this entire process. He spent every day with us at the hospital for the week I was hospitalized, except wow. Thanksgiving. Um, I've gained another brother who's pictured oh, yeah. up there at that Sit wrestling there event. and glare. Another part of my truly amazing and big time that I've gained demon. out of Christian Yelich, a brewer, and my that favorite demon player is and seething. now manager of the Brewers Craig Council. You go to the next slide, please. Finally... This right here, this is me and my buddy, Eric. Aww. We were both affected that day. And we made the return within three months of everything happening to come back and play the sport that we love. We did not stay down. We did not cry. You know, Damn didn't right. let it get to us. We came back stronger than ever. Yeah, we might have lost. But we played hard and truly showed this entire community that we are stronger together. And we are stronger than you. I just want to uh, also address one more thing to Mr. Brooks. These are um, two quotes that have gotten me through this entire process. You can mark it down in your Bible if you want for this one. <laughs> it's Romans 12, 20. Oh, shit. Do not be overcome by evil. Yes. But overcome evil with good. The second one, also to go with his grandmother's statement. I picked it up from the book and movie The Shack, written by William P. Young. The quote is, Forgiveness in no way requires that you trust the one you forgive. Forgiveness is not about forgetting. It is about letting go of another person's throat. And I do yes. want to acknowledge that I am letting go of your throat, Mr. Brooks, but I have not forgiven you. Thank you for your, thank you Damn for right. your chance to speak today. Thank you to both of you. I, that, this man is my favorite so far. Oh, look at this little scumbag.